eraser in the cut just like a razor murk up in this world my place I got all the boys on me I got all the lines on ring knocking dead turning heads I got all the eyes on me baby face caught up through the wire you ain't so do try wanna see my more touch and now I got touch and now you make bold call it you don't go now that she I know should be here cause I like the ball mom to see and now Look at the gold, call it a flex.
stop us, they'll try, but they won't. I nada nos puede parar. Oh no. Perfect. Hi right, guys, Billy Maze here. Just uh, want to let you guys know, last game is not going to happen. Cheetos Babes uh, got stuck in traffic, therefore they had to forfeit. Um, we will have a three-way tie tomorrow starting at 2 p.m. Central Time. 
uh, we can get those done and out of the way. And uh, just to wrap things up, we're going to go to a quick interview with P. Minty and our very own Ann Peggy. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. All right. Thank you, Billy Mays. Yes, I'm here with the support for Team Submerged Mountain. They were going to play the game and then unfortunately were not able to because of the circumstances. So, PMT, I know that this this tournament wasn't necessarily the probably the most victorious tournament you would hope for, but what do you do you think about your team going through this whole process? Um, so we uh, formed as a team around two weeks ago. Te technically, two weeks ago, I didn't even know this tournament existed. They just asked me to play, and they're like, "Okay, you're playing ADC." And then I showed up the next day, and they're like, "Actually, you're playing support." And I was like, "Oh." <laughs> great i've never played support before that that's cool and so yesterday we like we got destroyed and we were like what the heck we practiced so much we've been practicing almost every day this past week and then um meet meet me or yeah he our top laner he's like oh yeah uh, most of the teams have been together for like a year or more i think he said dog agents has known each other since they were like kids and stuff and played league growing up so I, it felt bad at the moment but now i don't feel that bad about having gone 0 and 2 yesterday considering um the way we got together yeah that's fair um uh, my mom brought order slices when we first started playing we went on like a summer long tournament that uh, everything was like a best of three we won exactly one set because the <laughs> other team did not show up so i definitely feel that so obviously this was a learning experience clearly you were up against people who had been playing together more how did i guess was there any adjustment then in your mindset when you started losing from the beginning of the tournament uh the first game was really a tilter for us because it was kind of like nothing we literally could not do anything in the first game and we just lost all over the map and so we were like oh my god this feels terrible going to the second game we we're just like all right we gotta focus up you know try our best and i think we did pretty good at the beginning of the game, I was calling like, hey, let's group up for drag, let's do this, do that, do that. And we got the first three drag drags, but you know, we got Ken and Ard, and then we just lost the game. So um I think we definitely pulled it back in the second game. Um but yeah, that yeah. Yeah, not uh, to get to get over that finish line. But that's good that you feel like you're able to improve. Now, I know that after the you started scrimming at the beginning of the tournament, you actually ended up getting a coach to help you out. How did you think that Crimson's involvement with your team helped you guys develop? I think um, his involvement was a lot on the draft side because if it wasn't for him, I would have been playing brand support or Pantheon support yesterday. And so he kind of forced us to do an actual comp, which, you know, force sounds like a very aggressive word, but I think ultimately it was for the better. And if we do end up sticking with all five players and Crims continues to help us, I think that we can continue to improve and do better. Um, I just think we need to do better on the champ pool because I can play like three supports. Our mid laner can play like four champions. Our jungler is a shack of one trick. And so it, it was a little hard coming in. And so with him just being like, okay, why didn't you try this? Why didn't you try this? They're similar to your champions. And us just like being like, okay, we'll just try, even though we think we're going to do bad. I think, yeah, that, that's Crim's just helped us a lot in the opening up our champ pool and being more open to playing different things. Yeah, I can see how that would be helpful when you're kind of a new group of people coming together trying to create a team for the first time. So you said that you didn't play support before. What did you play? Um, I was an Aatrox one trick, and then they destroyed that champion. So then I played a lot of Rise top last season. So definitely nothing like support champions. <laughs> All right. So now that you've had experience with the support, would you stick with it on your own? Uh, definitely not in solo queue, just because uh, it's kind of the dog roll. No one listens to you, and if your ADC is garbage, then you just lose. But um. You know, it was pretty fun support diffing uh, the other team. We, especially in scrims, we literally did not lose a single bot lane. Uh, BBC actually, or Bully Ball Corp yesterday, played the exact same bot lane, um, except I was Nautilus instead of Morgana. And 
uh, the first time we played them in scrims, they literally just sat under their tower and didn't do anything. But the rest of our team lost. We still lost. Um, but so yeah, it's fun just being able to uh, uh, win a two v two lane by yourself when playing support. Yeah, that's that's definitely fair. Um, support in solo queue can be very frustrating <laughs> <laughs> if the rest of your team is garbage. At least if you're playing like rise top lane, right? You can split mm -hmm. push. It'll be great, but yeah, so that's good. You're finding a new place amongst the team. So do you guys have any plans then going forward for maybe sticking together for Clash? And obviously here, we're going to have more tournaments in the future. Hopefully you will be able to return for those, but in the more immediate future, have you guys talked about that at all? Uh, yeah, it seems like we are all good with sticking together. Uh, we might be looking to change it up with the roles. Um, uh, just because, you know, I'm not a support player and it'd just be interesting to see our, and our mid laner is not a mid laner because he plays Nocturne and Master Yi. But it would be interesting to see how those different dynamics work out with different people in different places on the map. But we're definitely looking to, uh, like play Clash together and sign up to more tournaments, uh, for the My, Bar My Mom Brought Orange Slices. Well, we would be happy to have you back. Uh, that's one thing we talked about actually as a staff, how involved you all have been and your kind of eagerness to be able to screen against everyone. So I think that's good. Being able to think about things, maybe being flexible with the team going forward. So tomorrow we're going to have the tiebreakers, tiebreakers to figure out second place, but we know who is going to be facing off in the finals. So it's, we have the Dog Agents, which obviously was the team that you were playing against in your group. Um, one second, I am seeing a message. Okay. Um, all right, and then the other one is Donkey Knives. So, which team do you think will come out ahead? Uh, I didn't actually watch any of Donkey Knives games, uh, just to expose myself, <laughs> but... You know, we're like one of the best teams, you know, period, I'd have to say. So I think considering that if Dog Agents was able to beat us, then, you know, they have to win. There's no way they cannot win. Clearly, because you guys were in the stacked group. Exactly. If you were in the exactly. other group, you definitely If we were in the win. other group, it would be Dog Agents versus TSM, you know? That, that would have been exciting. But hopefully in the future, <laughs> that is a final we'll see. All right, thank you. Minty for uh, hanging out, coming in for the interview, even though the tournament probably wasn't as exciting as you were originally hoping. Uh, I hope you'll stick around and watch tomorrow, but at the very least that you will return to the next event that we have. Yep. It was uh, fun being here. Thank you for hosting these tournaments. All right. No problem. Have a good night. You too.